there, there is a kind of danger in anthropomorphizing, right? Mm. That um, uh, this kind of learning and understanding um, and even training, um, uh, those words uh, are, are words that humans use as to mm -hmm. what we humans do. And, you know, for some of the people who are really critical of generative AI, they say, no anthropomorphizing, you can't do it. Well, we have to, you know, we have to have some mental concepts that we can um, use to comprehend what the phenomena is that involves the model development and learning and training and understanding are our words that we understand that we project onto the foundation models because we don't have words to describe what's going on without those kinds of analogies. So I think it's important to sort of recognize that they're analogies um, and not the truth. Um, it's important to sort of understand that the what's going on inside of the models is something that humans are having a difficult time explaining. And, you know, maybe, maybe explainability will get better over time, uh, but the way that these machine learning systems process information is kind of through a set of levels of the neural networks and that's a very efficient, apparently, way of uh, essentially um, enabling the prediction of this user just put in this particular prompt. And based on the data that I have in my system, these are the words, or these are the images, or these are the other outputs that I, that I, the model, predict will satisfy the, the kind of the user's um, query. So these are mostly prediction machines right now. Um, they kind of predict that if you, you know, if you have these words in sequence, um, that the next word is likely to be dog. <laughs> 